up guys welcome back to the channel man welcome back to the channel today's video man today's video is important today's video is important man as y'all can see i'm sitting in ridiculous traffic um trying to get home from work so i figured i might as well talk about this why i got the time which don't look like i'm gonna be going anywhere anytime soon so why not talk about this subject right now since right now and i've already talked about this before in some of my other videos the Dodge Charger content is dying out, man. A lot of subscribers, a lot of viewers are saying that uh, it's the same recycled content. Um, people tired of seeing the same old thing. They tired of seeing the wraps. They tired of seeing the rims. Um, and I have to agree, you know, I have to agree with them uh, to an extent. I mean, what else can you do with a car? If, you, if you're not wrapping it, putting rims on it, uh, far as cosmetics anyway I mean of course you can race them but the average person is not out here street racing bro you got some of the youngest that buy these cars in a illegal street race but most responsible adults that spend their hard earned money on these cars they're not necessarily out here street racing now there's some that are don't get me wrong but most people not out here street racing excuse me guys I'm trying to get this is just ridiculous as y'all can see bro I'm trying to get through here but you spend your hard-earned money, you spend anywhere from, if you get a used scat, thirty-five dollars to $65,000 right now on a scat pack, then, you know, 100000 if you get a red eye, um, you're not going to be in the street, street racing. You're going to take that car to the track and race it. Um, but to get to the topic of, or well, the title of the video, um, Scared to Sell My Car, I'm going to tell you all honestly, I don't know what else I'm gonna buy. I'm talking about within my price range. I don't know any other car I would rather have than my scat. You know what I'm saying? Of course you can get something more expensive um, or you can get something different. I mean, cool, of course you can get like the ZL1, you can get, you know, a Mustang or something like that. But me personally, those cars don't excite me. I'm not, I ain't going, I'm not turning, so I'm not just keep straight. Those cars just don't excite me. They don't do it for me. So if I sell my scat, uh oh, it's cleared it out. If I sell my scat, I'm gonna be sad. I'm telling you right now. So leave your comments. Let me know how you would feel. If you, you were forced to sell your car, how you would feel. Again, because it has nothing to do with YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I just really enjoy having this car, driving this car. Uh, I like the way it looks. I like the room in it, the power. Um, of course, it's an eye catcher. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I mean, I've been looking around now. Like I said, you can get something that costs 160000 Like, you can get a Benz or something like that. Um, but that's just out of my price range. So, if I sold this car, I just don't know what else I would get. Um, yeah, you can get like an SUV or something like that. But that's not the same thing as having a Scat or a Hellcat. You know what I'm saying? Even if I had an RT and I had to sell it. I'd be upset. Now, I was sad when I sold my RT, but I had a plan to buy me a sketch. So that's completely different. But um, just sell my car because everybody got it. I mean, I'm truly enjoying this car, bro. This the way it looks when it's rolling. Uh, the interior, yeah, they need to update it. But like I said before, man, this car is straight. It's, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with this joint. And I haven't even really fully enjoyed the car yet to be honest with you there's still modes on the in the srt pages and still stuff in there i haven't even messed with yet you know what i'm saying just because i've been working so much i just really haven't had time to really dig into this car i haven't taken it to the track nothing so for me to sell this car right now would be crazy but leave y'all comments man i'm not gonna make this video too long because people not watching the whole video i appreciate if y'all hit the like button Hit the like button on this video for me, guys. I'm just consistently seeing uh, people saying that uh, Dodge content is just being recycled. You know, people doing the same thing. And uh, I just don't know what else more you can do to a car but wrap it, put rims on it, race it. There's nothing else you can do. So leave your comments. What else do y'all want to see? What else should we be doing? Us Dodge guys, us who have YouTube channels and have Dodge cars, what else do y'all want us to do? You know what I'm saying? What what should we be doing? Because you say you want us to do vlogs and stuff like that, but then people don't even watch the whole video. 
you skipping through the video and not hitting the like button. So we're spending all our time uh, and effort into these videos for people to not watch them or skip through them or skip the ads. So you guys have to help us out as well. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's a two way thing here. It's like a relationship. You know, we both, everybody got to play their part, man, to keep this thing going because a lot of creators are, you know, they are leaving the platform, going to like uh, TikTok and stuff like that. And uh, before you know it, there ain't gonna be nobody left. Me personally, I'm gonna continue to upload, like I already told you guys. The content that I upload, I would be doing it anyway, um, even if I wasn't doing YouTube. So you guys are just saying what I would be doing, regardless of YouTube. But I enjoy uh, uploading onto YouTube, I enjoy interacting with you guys. Um, I enjoy doing things to my car. Speaking of that, I got some stuff I'm getting ready to do. I want to put some wheels on this car, but the only thing is the weather's getting ready to change. So I'm kind of on the fence about that, but we're going to be doing some car shopping, guys. We're going to be car shopping because I have to get me another daily. I cannot continue to drive this car to work now. Drive this car to work every day. As you can see, look at this traffic I'm in. This is every day for me. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, Y'all know how these cars are on gas. And I, I don't play around with the gas pedal with this car. I mean, it's just so much fun. I'm always doing little pulls and stuff like that. So the gas hand, you can see that jump just going down, literally just going down. <laughs> and I know you feel me if you got one of these joints. So man, if you in the market, man, you wanna buy you a Scat Hellcat, don't get discouraged. Everybody got them and all that, bruh. Everybody got every car. There's no car you can buy that somebody else doesn't have. Look at this guy. But man, you know, so that's what I wanted to talk about today, guys. You know, I don't want to get rid of my scat. I don't know what else I would buy that would bring me the same joy. Um, I'm pretty sure y'all can relate to what I'm saying. Um, I've been thinking about it every day. I said, what would I buy if I got rid of this car? The only thing I would buy would be a Hellcat. <laughs> I will give me a Hellcat. I don't care what nobody say. And me personally, I don't know another car that I would be as happy with and wouldn't cost me an arm and leg to maintain, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, bruh, it's all about what you can afford, what makes you happy. And some people are just tired of these joints, you know what I'm saying? Some people are just tired of these scats and Hellcats and it's okay to move on to a different car. There's nothing wrong with that. But what bothers me is when people try to convince other people why they should sell their car or why um, it don't make sense for somebody to buy a charger. That's ridiculous, man. Because when a new one come out, I'm getting I'm telling y'all, when a new charger comes out, electric, whatever it is, I'm going to bring it to the channel. Whether I keep this and have that, who knows? So if you're new to the channel, man, hit the like button, subscribe. And you got the Capitol Police looking at everybody say, Sir, you are not coming through here. Look at it. Look at these guys. Oh, you know what it is? See, they do that, guys, when you when people got trucks. Like it's a box truck or something behind them. They don't let them trucks come through here. So I thought they was great for me, but they ain't, they ain't messing with me. They ain't. I ain't doing nothing wrong, champ. So again, man, hit the like button. Subscribe. Leave your comments, man. I want to know y'all thoughts. If you had to get rid of your car, man, what would you get? And let me know why you're not getting rid of your car. You know what I'm saying? Let me know why you don't want to get rid of your Scat or Hellcat. RT, SXT, whatever you may have. Whatever Mopar you have. The Rango, whatever it is. But hopefully soon here, guys, we can get back to the content with the cars. I can start back modding the cars. But right now, I've been working a lot. Just haven't had time to uh, do any mods right now. So stay tuned, man. Keep rocking with your boy. So we're going to get back to these mods real soon. Appreciate y'all watching, man. Hit the like button. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.